What's going on guys, it's Real Touch GML here back with another game maker tutorial. Today we are going to be continuing our zombie series. And today we're pretty much just going to kill the zombies with our bullets. So what I've done is I went ahead and created a little blood puddle here. Uh don't criticize me on this because this is really bad, I am aware. Uh so I'm pretty sure your game will have much, much better graphics than that. So that's when he dies, and then I made this little little uh, blood splatter here, and that's when he just gets hit by the bullet. So there we go. So what we're going to do is, in the OBJ zombie, um, I've already done this, but in the, uh, in the create event, we're going to set hit points to equal 100. And that's pretty much just going to set as his health. So once you've done that, go ahead and open up the collision with OBJ bullet. And what we're going to do is pretty much we're just going to set hit points to minus equal, I'll, we'll say 50. So it's going to take two hits from the bullet to kill him. And then we're going to say with other instance destroy. So with the bullet, this is pretty much just going to destroy the bullet. Alright, so now in the step event, what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, if hit points is less than one so it would be at zero we're going to instance create x comma y comma obj blood one and we're going to instance destroy uh... and that should be good let's go ahead and test out the game here Yep, as you can see. Uh, it does work. Now, there is a couple de depth issues here uh, that can be resolved pretty easily, but as you can see, it does work. And now let's go ahead and set up some, uh, some more awesome things. Uh, and also, in the later tutorials, this hit points will equal 100. But the bullet damage will go down, so we'll have to fix this in the future. So we'll say if wave equals 1, then hit points minus equal 50. If wave equals 2, then it minus equals 40. You know, stuff like that, uh, which can get it uh, really easily without having to create all different zombies for the different waves. But we're also going to instance create, I forgot to do this, OEJ blood splat. And that's the collision event with the bullet. And that's just just creates a little blood splat. So uh and you can see just like that. Uh and that's optional of course. Now if you don't uh another thing is if you don't want that blood to stay there, we can also just have it fade away. So in the create event, we can set uh timer to equal we'll say or no no no, what what the hell am I doing? Uh alarm zero equals sixty and in alarm zero we can have it instance destroy or what we can do is have it fade away which means create another sprite like this now you know what I'll just do it I'll do it um, so duplicate the sprite and this can be SPR blood fade and what you do is you just go to animation disappear and we'll say 50 frames and it disappears within 50 frames so what we can do is in the alarm zero here we can have it sprite index equals SPR blood fade um, and then in the other tab here we can do animation end and then it'll instance destroy so if we go ahead and test that out now uh, wait for some zombies to spawn here whoa uh, that's pretty I'm zero we'll go to 120 You know what we'll do here? If sprite index equals SBR blood fade, 
then we're going to go ahead and instance destroy. So that should work now. And wait for it to fade. Yeah, and there we go. So it fades. So that worked. And uh, so that's pretty cool on how to do that. And now what we can do uh, as well is collision with the bullet. If you go down to the straw tab here, pretty cool particle system that's already in there for you. You can do firework. We set it to relative, and I'll make it like a red color here. Yeah, above objects, and we'll make it small. And what that can do is create kind of like a blood effect. So as you can see, you know, cut, you know, uh, it kind of looks like blood. So you can go ahead and use that if you'd like. You know, you can you can mess around with with the stuff going on there. Of course, the depth issues obviously need to be changed and we probably need to fade out that blood splat but uh... yeah pretty cool if you have them like all in a group here and you got like a machine gun at the fire rate of like thirty thousand uh, i'm just i'm just babbling on now alright that that's gonna be our tutorial for today go ahead and leave a like go ahead and subscribe and i do appreciate all your your likes and and even views on the video and especially comments uh, i read all of them so Really appreciate that, and I will see you guys next time.